Hey guys, some more rat spots today. We're going to be showing you the most broken spots to use in Season 13 for World's mm. Edge. Are you ready? Let's go. So first, we're going to look at staging, guys. Uh, you're going to want to fly, jump, or swing behind the champion's banner on the main building. And there's a little crevice you can fall into here. It'll catch you perfectly, and you can't be seen, and you can't be shot. Charge rifle here. This next one is on the cliff on the other side of the railway tracks. You're going to run, jump, climb, or fly up this hill. There's a nice little cave at the top, as you can see. You can't be seen. It's the perfect rat spot. This one can be seen in any building of this shape. It's really good for when you get chased in. Just climb on top of this vent on the back wall, and you've got a free line of fire to the back of the head. Finally, this last one at staging is on the far side of the tracks. You're going to just fly to the top of this cliff. You do need Valkyrie or Horizon. And there's a nice little place to hide right on the top that doesn't time you out. Look at that. Who's going to see you there, huh? No one. That's you. Okay, guys, these ones are in geyser. For this first one, you're just going to jump right under this rock, make yourself nice and snuggy. You're covered by the mist. Plus, you have easy access to escape if you're in the middle of a fight. Zoom! This second one is just by this building here, right in the corner. Tuck yourself in by the rock and you are Gucci. So this one's in the tunnel next to the vault by Lava City. You're just going to climb up this metal grate on the side. And as long as no one looks up, you're laughing. If they do look up, you're going to have to shoot them, but you get to shoot first. So this one's at Harvester. It's really tricky, but it's also one of the most, if not the most broken spot on World's Edge. You're going to fly all the way up. You're going to try and land on this tiny little ledge on the side here. It will take a few tries and then boom. You're behind the glass. Here's what it looks like from your teammates or enemy's perspective. You can't be touched. You can't be killed. It's, it's, it's insane. This next one is when you're running away from enemies and you need somewhere quick. You can hide inside this box on top of the doorway. Again, it's probably not best to try and hide all game, but you can use it to get an advantage in a fight. Okay, guys, these are all in the mine pass. This first one, you don't need a movement legend, but it is quicker. We're going to fly on up or climb this rock and just crouch at the top. No one's going to see your head. Next up, we're going to go super simple. All you're going to do is crouch behind this rock. I wouldn't check, would you? And last but not least, my favourite. We're all a bit of trash sometimes, so we're going to hide behind the bin. This is usually very effective in the lower ranks, but the higher ranks, people might start to, you know, see you a bit. Wings up. Right, we're at Lava Fisher now, and there's a few real cool spots. This first one is on the ledge at the bottom of the building. Any movement legend can fit their way into here. Uh, there's a final zone that ends here, making it real strong, and you can do the same on the opposite building over there. This next one's underneath the railway tracks next to this cart. You're literally just going to fly under it and sit on the ledge. Easy hiding spot. This final one is in Canyon Pass, which can be found between Landslide and Countdown. You're just going to fly as high as you can. You're going to get the Countdown for a second and then just crouch and you're fine. You're covered by the pipe and as long as no one looks up, you are going to be safe. We're at Fragment East now. This first one, you're going to want to be a movement legend. You're going to fly up onto this pipe, sit there, just chill. I very much doubt anyone's going to look at a pipe. Next up, we're at the front of the building. This one I've used quite a few times in the middle of a fight to med up. It gives you good protection and then you can jump right back in. So this next one is at Epicenter, guys, and it's kind of a cold rat spot. Sorry. Sorry. Anyway, you're going to want to fly into this hole over here and just make sure once you've landed, just crouch in it. And look at that. Out of sight, out of mind. You're well above a, a natural eye level. There's also a real cool one at the bottom uh, edge. Any legend can get to this one. It's real simple. Just run and jump behind this plunger looking thing. And you're good. Look at that. Who's going to check there? Who's going to run through there? So over at Thermal Stations now. Uh, there's a few real cool ones. This first one's just behind the pipe. You can crouch in here and you can't be seen. Uh, I've used this one a number of times to make sure I am in the top three. Uh, this next one is at the top of the uh, spire in the middle. Inside of the frame. You can do this in any legend, uh, but it helps have a movement legend to jump straight to the top. 
this final one as well can be used by any legend and it is such a good rat spot. You're just going to crouch and hide underneath the grapple pad. And look at that. Who's going to check under there? You're sneaking. Okay, we're at tree. This one's super easy, but super fun. You're going to either climb, fly, pad, whatever, into this steamy rock hole thing. Who knows, but it's a good place to hide. And finally, guys, as a bit of a bonus tip, any building this size has a number of rat spots in it that you can use in the middle of a fight. Very easy to get into as well. Here's the first one, just above the door. Crouch, and you can get a nice shot from above. This next one, you're going to do a 180 after running up this wall, and you're going to jump onto the pipe. Easy peasy. The next one is in the kitchen at the back. You're going to run up the wall again and sit again on top of the pipe. The next we go here. Come on. It's pretty, pretty easy to get into, I promise. Uh, and then these final ones are not for fighting, but more for just hiding. Uh, they're in the back storeroom, right on the top shelf. If you crouch here, no one's going to be able to see you. Uh, and then the same on the other side, hopefully. Brilliant. And that is all we have for today, guys. Please remember to like and subscribe. If any of these spots has helped you win a game, or if you thought of any more that we've missed, let us know down in the comments. See you next time. Bye.